Bonjour fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Avion, France in front of the cathedral and the, more importantly the Pope's Palace all right over here because yes, Avion actually did have the Popes here for about 70 years. Very cool, one of the things you're really going to like about coming here. And I, I'll be honest, Avion is my favorite place in Provence. It's got a great base to see other places, great food, the walls, the bridge, the palace, all kinds of great stuff. But anyway, even places I love like Avignon, there's things you love and there's things you're going to hate. That's why we have the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Avignon. And the first thing you're not going to like about visiting Avignon is you're coming from Paris, okay? You're probably going to take the TGV, the fast train. And the fast train goes to the Avignon TGV station, which is not the train station here in the center of town. It's out of town, so you have to take another train to come in from there, or a taxi or a bus, and it's kind of annoying. So just remember, when you're coming to Avignon, make sure you go to Avignon Center, okay, or God de Center, or God d'Avignon Center, Okay, that's the one you want to go to because that is literally right here in the city. You walk out and there the beginning of the walls. It is just totally cool. But what sucks is if you're coming to the TGV, you got to make sure you realize the TGV Avignon station is not the one that you want to be going to. Okay, you want to go to the center station. Now the second thing you might not like about Avignon is kind of a very typical thing for here in Provence because Provence is a very popular place for tourists to go. And because it's so popular, you do have a lot of tourists that come here. It's especially basically May through September, you know, June and July when you have the lavender blooming, when it's so beautiful, this place can get very packed. School groups come here. I know the first time I came here, I literally was getting run over by German and French school groups all the time. So just be ready for that. Another thing is accommodation can be tough to come by and it can be pricey, okay? So make sure you're booking ahead to get your accommodation here in Avignon. And one of the things you'll see in, in Provence, you have a lot of walled cities, is you do get a little bit, you can get a little bit lost, which is fun to get lost but if it's nighttime you're not sure where you're gonna where you are you can get a little worried but don't worry it's a walled city you'll be fine the third thing you might not like about coming to Avignon is something that you make the mistake of and I've made this mistake before like the first time I came here 15 years ago is you'll think that oh I just need to cut walk out the station go down this the, this main street with all the shops there's the main square the Horlog, and then there's the post palace I see the bridge and then I walk the same way back to get out of town and done no no, Avignon is not just one straight shot. Okay, though it is, it's really cool. It's easy to go through. You want to make sure you get out and explore. Go in the pedestrian streets, find the restaurants, the hidden churches, the markets around here. It is really cool. I mean, Christmas time here is fantastic as well. And you want to make sure you get off the main drag. I know it sounds silly to be a hate, but something I see tourists do, they get off, they come from Ox, they come from Arles or someplace. They get off, they walk down the street, they see the Pope's Palace behind me in the cathedral. Then they go to the, the Pont Avignon, which is totally cool, and they come back the same way. And you miss out on things like the Petit Palais. You know, you can see some 13th, 14th century painting Botticelli, who I'm a big fan of. You miss these things out there. So get off the main street and explore off the sides. That's where all the really good restaurants are too, okay? The fourth thing that might disappoint you when you come to Avignon is the Papal Palace, or the Pope's Palace, which is behind me, is extremely cool to go in. But the thing is, all the furnishings are gone. Most most of the frescoes have been destroyed or lost through time so there's not a lot of stuff inside of it and you'll see that in some of the churches around town is they are empty now not all of them okay and I'll talk about that and the things you're gonna love about it but just be prepared that you might think is oh I'm gonna go in here and it's gonna be like going to the Vatican no it's not yes there are the huge rooms huge halls but it is kind of lacking in furnishings and stuff like that but the frescoes they do have in there are really cool and the history about this is really nice. But just be prepared for a little scantily filled furnishings, okay? And the fifth thing you might not like about Avignon is you do need to keep your eyes open when you are coming around. I mean, it's not it, it's not like Nice and Marseille where you really need to be paying attention all the time, but you really should pay attention of where you are, what, what time of the day it is and stuff like that, because you might look out for pickpockets and stuff like that. I know we were here, when we first got here five days ago, I made it 500 meters from the train station with my three-year-old. I bent down to help him with the shoe and someone tried to rob my bag. So, you know, it's these things do happen here, but it's not as bad. I don't think it's as bad as other places 
places, but you just need to pay attention. And I bring this up because a lot of people, when you're here in Avignon, you're gonna be renting a car to drive around and see the Lavender Fears or see the Pont du Gard or go into Le Beau and all these places around here. And you need to make sure you keep your stuff hidden in your car so people don't break in and get your stuff, okay? So just pay attention to that. It's not a huge issue, but it's something I really think a lot of tourists need to take a little bit more concern with when they do come to Avignon. Now, those are the five things you might not like about Avignon. And honestly, I mean, it's not really that much not to like. It is literally my favorite town in Provence to come to. I've been coming here for literally for 15 years and it is great. I mean, we've even spent Christmas here because that's how much I love it. What I think you're really gonna love about it, well, let's get started. The first thing is the history of the city because when you go to the Pont the Avignon Bridge and you see the four arches there and you climb on that, you walk on the bridge, you see it, you get your family picture there, you walk on the ramparts and the walls and all this stuff, you really get this great history of the city and the true symbol of the city is that bridge. Now the second thing you're gonna like is yes, because the popes were here, there was a lot of influence and a lot of money that came here. So a lot of art, a lot of architecture, fabulous palaces and churches and all these things you really are gonna like. And yes, you do need to go to the papal palace here and go inside and go in the cathedral and go in the churches and the small palaces and see these things. You know, you go to the Petit Palais, you know, the, 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 the small palace and go see those Botticelli's and the religious art in the 13th and 14th century. It is really cool. And you go around here and you see us, wow, all this religious influence that was here really transformed this city into a really fabulous place that tourists today can really enjoy. And with that religiousness and the history there and all this is there are some really good museums, like I said, the Petit Palais, the Musée Calvé. I mean, there's all kinds of cool things to see, little small museums inside of churches as well. So make sure you're checking out not just the Pope's Palace, but other things around town to really get the full experience when you're here. The third thing you're gonna love about it is the fact that it's a walled city and everything that you really want to see is inside the walls. And yes, you can walk along the walls on the outside and see the kind of green park around it. And it is just amazing to see because the walls and the fortifications are still in great tact, intact and they look fantastic. When they're lit up at night, it's just beautiful. And you can take that in. But with having that enclosed space, you can wander the city. You can wander within the walls and go in the pedestrian streets and all these things and really have a great, I would say like almost medieval European time with you know modern amenities but you go and wander in the stone streets or the or the the pedestrian ways and it's just so cool being inside this walled city because it's like you're taking out of the tourist traps and you're taking out of today's world and you're in this fantastic old Europe that you, really is one of the things I love about Avignon that it takes you back with the history, the religion and the walls all comes together and it just makes it a fantastic place. The fourth thing you're going to love about coming here is, hey, let's be honest, this is France and this is Provence and probably if you go into your cupboard at home you have Herbe de Provence. Yes, Herbe de Provence comes here from Fran Provence in Avignon in this area and the food here is spectacular. All the flavors they have in their food, you really want to make sure you are eating as much as you can. It is well worth it because this is one of the best places to eat in France. The wine here is spectacular and what's cool is you can do wine tours, you can do cooking classes, they have all these kind of things you can sign up for here in Avignon and around this region. And that leads us into the fifth thing you're going to love about coming here is Avignon makes a great base to see Provence or a little bit outside of Provence. You go to Arles where Van Gogh is famous for where he did Starry Night, there's a Roman amphitheater and theater there. That's 18 minutes from here. You want to leave Provence, go to the next, you know, department over, you can go to Nimes. That's like half an hour. Another really fantastic amphitheater, one of the best preserved ones, Roman amphitheaters in France. And then you've got the square house or the Maison Carré, which isn't square, it's rectangle, but that's a Roman thing because they just believe in right angles makes it a square. You go there, you wander the streets there, and what's cool is in Nimes, you'll see all these crocodiles everywhere. It's because that's the symbol of the city, okay? Because the Roman soldiers went to Egypt and fought, and they saw the crocodiles, they brought it back, and that's why it's the city of Nimes. Also, if you want to use this as a base to drive around to things like the Pont du Gard, the famous aqueduct that's by here, or go to Le Beau, or just drive around in the summer and seeing the beautiful nature that's here, especially the lavender fields. You drive around like, oh my God, am I trapped in a postcard? Because it really is that gorgeous, okay? Now, those are the five things that I love and hate about Avignon. What are yours? Leave your love and hates in the comments section below. We always love to hear more. And honestly, I think you have a fantastic time here in Avignon. We've enjoyed our time here. It's been fantastic, and we will definitely be back again. So, au revoir from Avignon, and have a great time in Provence. Au revoir.